time for a little two-man game as I welcome in NBA insider Brian Windhorst to run the give and go with me. We start, hey Brian, welcome. We yeah. start, Wendy, with Steph Curry dropping 50 with 10 dimes and the Warriors win over the Hawks. Um, what do fans need to know about Steph and the Warriors right now? Do you know that his actually scoring and shooting is down quite a bit from last season? But you know what's up? His team! They're awesome. Jordan Poole has been a revelation for them, and they're playing overall much better defense. They're back to the defensive level that they played in their championship years. And listen, the words are whispers out there, Max, that Clay Thompson is making progress in his workouts. And look, I'm not saying he's going to come back and be the old Clay, but by the end of the season, that weapon may present itself as well. I'm going to call him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. I mean, that's going to be impossible when he gets back. The Bulls outscored the Nets 42 to 17 in the fourth quarter to snap Brooklyn's five game win streak. DeRozan gave him 28. Levine added 24. Brian, the Bulls finally back. This is an old school season in the NBA with physical defense, and the Bulls are an old school team. They, play, they use mid-range shooting. I mean, DeMar DeRozan is a master at it. It is all being set up for him, and they're playing better defense than we thought, too. The uh, Nuggets star Nikola Jokic, reigning MVP, ejected in the fourth quarter, Wendy, after blindsiding the Heat's Markeith Morris, retaliating to a hard foul. Jimmy Butler and the Heat took exception. Wendy, what's the fallout going to be here? Is yeah, Jokic I mean, I was, suspended? Yeah, I think he'll get a suspension, but if you're expecting a big, long suspension, don't. Uh, you know, last year there was a similar play, not exactly the same, similar when Patrick Beverly shoved Chris Paul. You remember in the playoffs, that was a one-game suspension. So maybe one, maybe two, but not a good moment for the league. Yeah, in Philly, uh, Woj reports Ben Simmons has met with the 76ers, recommended specialists to discuss his mental health. The meeting seems to signal, at least, a shift in the way Simmons is dealing with the organization. Wendy, uh, does it feel like this is more about Simmons trying to return to the organization or trying to keep those $360,000 game checks or fines or whatever to keep that money? Not from where I sit, Max. From, from my conversations, there is still an incredible amount of animus and uh, that this is just a poker game where they're trying to keep money or take money. And I, I know that this sounds ridiculous, especially to people in the league, but the Simmons side still believes he's going to get all this fine money back. He's still angry about the way they're taking it still angry about the way they're helping him. And look, starting on Saturday, without Joel Embiid, and who knows when Tobias Harris is going to go come back, they play six a six-game road trip. They are facing a difficult stretch up here without a lot of talent, and I would not expect Ben Simmons to be coming to the rescue anytime soon. Wow. I mean, this is a game of poker where each side seems to have played poorly to get to this point. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.